Well, good morning and welcome to City Hall on this amazing and historic day. I'm so proud to uh, welcome Senator Ben Hueso, who's made the journey from San Diego so we can join in announcing his landmark Circus Cruelty Prevention Act. <laughs> Some might say any day is amazing and historic when somebody braves morning peak hours to drive from San Diego <laughs> to Los Angeles. But the Senator's bill, SB 313, is even more historic. Alongside us are representatives from PETA, Social Compassion and Legislation, Peace for Animals, and a wonderful group of animal activists who work hard to make Los Angeles and the entire state of California a compassionate and cruelty-free place to live. You know, California's always been a leader, and when it comes to animal compassion, here in Los Angeles, we've been making quite a bit of progress. Just last week, my colleagues and I voted to ban the manufacturing and sale of fur. This makes Los Angeles the largest city in the United States to put the brakes on this bar bar barbaric practice. But there's so much to do to change the way animals are treated, and that's why I'm proud to host all of you here at City Hall today. The world's in its sixth mass extinction, and many of us, including those joining us today, are working hard to save the last remaining species in the wild. And so the time is way overdue to stop torturing innocent animals for entertainment. And by the way, the society is waking up to the reality of behind-the-scenes torture. The truth of the matter is that consumers are having a harder and harder time justifying the fun of cotton candy under the big top once they become aware of the heartless abuses that going, go into getting a wild animal to succumb to doing unnatural parlor tricks in the center ring. Consumers no longer want their money to be going to torturing animals. Cirque du Soleil has proven that there are plenty of revenue dollars and jobs coming from live circus entertainment that doesn't use or abuse animals. We need to stop thinking that animal abuse is a necessity and start realizing animal exploitation is an atrocity. Creating positive change in animal welfare has long been a passion of mine. When we introduced and passed our motion to ban the use of the elephant bullhook in 2012 here in Los Angeles, people told us that it had always been done like this and no one wanted it to change. Well, those people were wrong, and we've since come so far. Since then, Ringling Brothers dropped its use of elephants from their show and then closed down after 146 years of animal abuse. And the state banned bullhooks, and L.A. County Fair no longer displays wild animals. And now it's time for California to provide important leadership with the Circus Cruelty Prevention Act. This bill is an important next step in the effort to protect wild and exotic animals from being abused for our entertainment. I commend Senator Hueso for taking on this challenge, and today in City Council I'll be introducing a resolution to place the city in support of SB 313. Yes. I want to thank everyone up here with me for coming out and working to stop the suffering of living beings on our planet. Wild and exotic animals are meant to be free, not captive entertainers. And now without further ado, I'd like to introduce the author of the state legislation, Senator Huesto. Good morning, everybody. Thank you for being here, and thank you for uh, very much to, to Councilmember uh, Coretz for your leadership on, on not only this issue, but other important issues as well. And we're all very grateful to, for your advocacy and support in these important areas. Again, as has been stated, you know, it's, it's, it's time for all of us to start working on fostering a society where people do not take pleasure in, in or derive amusement from the cruel treatment of other creatures. It is, <clears throat> it, it is an industry that, that historically has derived lots of economic gains from torture. And it's time that we start creating an environment where this is not so. Elephants and tigers don't belong in cages. We all know they're 
beautiful wild animals that deserve to be in their native environment. And the circuses that exploit them and other animals have no place here in California or in any other parts of the world for that matter. I have introduced a Senate Bill 313, the Circus Cruelty Prevention Act, which will make it illegal statewide to use or allow the use of wild and exotic animals in traveling acts. <laughs> California is, is a beautiful state and it's a wildlife state. Its topography and climate have produced an am amazing diversity and a, a, an amazing habitat for a di diverse array of both plant and animal species. Many of them, those being endemic to California, meaning that they are only found in California and nowhere else. We have more species in California than any other state in the, in the U.S. There is just no need here or anywhere to support traveling anima, animal acts that take these precious creatures out of their natural habitat and cart them around like cargo. <clears throat> Public demand for animal-free circuses is growing. We need to contribute to that awareness that using animals and circuses is cruel, and it hurts not only the animals, but our very souls. Dozens of localities in at least 36 states already restrict the use of wild and exotic animals and circuses and Hawaii and New Jersey have already banned them statewide. I'm just sad California did not ban it first. <laughs> but this message coming from California will send a message around the world. And we hope that this campaign takes root in other parts of the world and people begin to see how cruelty to animals has no, should have no place in our society and our lives. California has done a lot. And as, as uh, Councilmember Koretz mentioned, we have already uh, worked on uh, lots of legislation that will make California a safer place and a kinder place for animals. Many jurisdictions in California have already instituted their own local bans and, and we've already taken steps in other areas to um, make it possible for animals to live uh, without cruelty or exploitation. But we need to further this campaign. We need to continue working in this area and we need to do this today because it's the right thing to do. And it's way long overdue. So. I've introduced this bill to close the curtain, the curtain on circus cruelty in California for good and forever. I'd like to introduce one of the individuals that's been so instrumental in a lot of the legislation that we've done over the years to uh, advocate for, for animals. Uh, Judy Mancuso, the founder, pre founder and president of Social Compassions, has been a stalwart in, in helping a lot of these bills and I understand that she's working on lots of other things this year and we're, we're very pleased that uh, she is our partner in this effort. I'd like to bring her to the podium to share some comments. Judy Mancuso. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Thank you, Senator. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, good morning everyone. Judy Mancuso, Social Compassion and Legislation. We are proud and honored to sponsor SB 313 and thankful to have as our co-sponsor PETA with their wealth of experience and years of success in raising awareness on this issue. Decades ago, I learned how circus animals were made to do their tricks. I watched an undercover video and saw a trainer mercilessly beating a chained elephant, making her scream and then a tiger. It brought tears to my eyes. I had no idea what it took to force those poor animals to perform tricks that baffled them. Nor did I have any idea 
then about how they were kept endlessly chained and transported in cages so small they could barely turn around. It is abhorrent that some wild animals are born in a cage, others stolen from the wild and shipped here only to be tortured and kept captive and subservient their whole lives for a few people's fleeting entertainment. As awareness and compassion has grown about such cruelty, popularity has drastically waned. Now we are left with the outliers, and they must go. Yes. The next natural step is to pass a law to seal the deal and say goodbye to cruelty that our society once condoned and now rightly condemns. This year is the time to say goodbye to cruel treatment of animals in old style circuses and say hello and thank you to entertainment that is not based on the torture and exploitation of other species. We saw this social movement in 2017 when my group led kicking puppy mills out of pet shops. And last year, we ended the sale of animal tested cosmetic products in our state. Yes. We thanks. <laughs> We thank Senator Wazo from the bottom of our hearts for carrying this legislation and for helping our society move on to a kinder and more civilized place. Thank you. We are also very grateful to have the support of, of, of a very beloved actress who is now a Californian from her native England. She uh, was, she's very well known for her role in the sitcom The Office. Uh, Lucy Davis is uh, currently starring in the mega hit The Chilling Adventures of Sabrina on Netflix. And I'd like to ask Lucy Davis to come forward to the podium and make some comments. Welcome. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. Um, emotional <laughs> let me get through um, I've been very lucky to work uh, as an actor for most of my life and um, more lucky because I chose it and I love performing and animals uh, in a circus don't get that choice the basis of our life is freedom and animals want that and need that as much as us humans do and to deprive them of that and to subject them to horrific torture when they dare to disobey breaks me. I think to understand the role that animals play in our world is to understand what it means to feel love and forgiveness and kindness and joy. And that's what animals give me on a daily basis. I couldn't get through my life if it weren't for an animal being in the present at all times and reminding me to do the same. And now today, I am so glad that I get to stand here with Senator Huezo and Council Member Kretz and shout out my support for this Circus Cruelty Prevention Act. You can tell from my accent, I'm not from here. Um, I still sound like Mary Poppins. Um, and. Um, <laughs> But I will say I'm so honored to be here in my adopted home of California and to see them leading the way, which they are, in making animals' lives easier and kinder and something that I'm so looking forward to seeing more of and I am so hoping will inspire other states and other people to move in the same direction. I look forward to the day where I no longer can see animals in circuses anywhere in the world, and I get to see them live the lives that they came here to live in freedom. Thank you. And your accent is very welcome in California, <laughs> the most diverse state in the, co in, in the country and in the world, and yes. that's who we've become. We've done a great job at, at importing the best people from the world. That's what yes. makes California the best place to live. So thank you very much for your comments. We also have with us Lisa Lang uh, representing PETA. No, no group has done more to bring the cruelty of animal circuses into public view 
than the group that I'm happy to say is co-sponsoring this bill, PETA. They have investigated the circus since the organization was founded and because of their ex exposing of the Ringling Brothers circus, that circus uh, was fined. The, the biggest fine in USDA history, $270,000, which of course <clears throat> helped to lead its decision to close up its doors for good. Representing PETA, here today, again, is Lisa Lang. Thank you for all your work and advocacy and for being here today. Thank you. Thank you all for coming and braving this oddly cold weather. Wild and exotic animals are not photo props. They don't belong on a carnival midway, and they're not willing participants in circuses. When animals are used for props for so-called entertainment, their well-being will always be sacrificed. We know this all too well in California. The Ringling Brothers Circus kept the elephant Sarah on the road even though she had necrotic tumors and was sick. She collapsed outside the Honda Center in Anaheim. An elephant named Hattie was forced to perform at a circus and give rides in Southern California even though she was visibly emaciated. The next day she, she died while being transported to, to Illinois. Another elephant touring with this circus, Joyce, had died just days before. Both were suffering from tuberculosis, which is passed between humans and elephants. There's also Clyde, a lion who literally baked to death on a circus boxcar traveling through the Mojave Desert to Fresno. The day's temperatures exceeded 100 degrees, but the circus couldn't be bothered to stop and help the suffering lion. And in Huntington Park, a tiger was found dead and nearly decapitated one morning after a circus left her overnight in a cat cage crammed with five other big cats. More recently, zebras escaped from the Universal Circus and ran through the streets of Oakland. And officials in Los Angeles found that a tiger named Shakira had developed a wound on her face from continually rubbing on the bars of her cage. The public is calling for an end to this abuse, and many circuses have already heeded that call. Circus Vargas, which is based in San Diego, dazzles audiences with an all-human show full of aerialists, stunts, acrobats, and clowns. We've made huge strides in California by banning the bullhook, and once again, we're poised to take the lead on advancing animal rights. PETA is a proud sponsor of SB 313, the Circus Cruelty Prevention Act. Thank you. We also have a very important personality in animal advocacy, and that's Lisa Bloom. Uh, she founded and owns one of the largest and fastest growing civil rights law firms in the U.S. The Bloom Firm, representing celebrity clients and ordinary people seeking justice in all areas of ci civil litigation and family law. She is an animal lover and a vegetarian since age 16. Lisa has been vegan uh, since 2009. And thank you for joining us today. Thank you, Senator Grace. Thank you, Senator Hueso, for your leadership. Thank you, Councilmember Coretz, for being here and supporting animals. And to PETA, SCIL, and all of the animal activists braving the cold, God bless you. We're out here for an important purpose today. You know, the animals who are in circuses, every day is a miserable day for them. I can remember when I was a child and I was taken to the circus, and I loved seeing the elephants and the tigers and the lions doing their tricks. And I remember the sound of the crack of the whip that cracking noise, and I had this sick feeling in my gut. But I was told, no, it's okay, it's okay, it doesn't hurt them. Look, they're not actually whipping the animals, they're just whipping near them. When I became a parent myself and my young children wanted to go to the circus, I looked into it, and I discovered that I was lied to as a child, that of course the animals are harmed, profoundly tortured to be in the circus, that behind the scenes they are whipped, they are chains, they are subject to bull hooks, and they are in cages all the time that they're not out there performing. I was sickened by this, and I told my children, we're not going. 
I expected resistance, but when I explained to them why, they were 100% behind me. Because children naturally love animals, naturally want the best for animals. And so we watched videos from planet Earth of animals in their natural habitat, beautiful videos where animals are with their families, raising their young, roaming free as they should. And we went to Cirque du Soleil and watched the human performers who were there of their own free will. And in fact, my son became an aerialist himself, I'm very proud to say. So let's stop lying, for, lying to children. Let's tell them the truth. Let's tell them the truth about animals. I'm so proud to be a Californian and a place where we are constantly evolving, constantly wanting to do better, both for the humans and the civil rights cases where I represent people and California is a leader in civil rights, and also for animals who we no longer want to be victims purely for our entertainment. Let's do this, California. We also have with us somebody who has been a tireless advocate for animal rights. She's a model and an actress who's taken major action in the preservation of our planet and its species. Katie Cleary is the founder of the animal welfare organization Peace for Animals. She is the creator and producer of the uh, World Animal News, and, and which covers uh, news breaking stories around the world. And she's also the creator and executive producer of the award-winning documentary, Give Me Shelter. Katie Cleary. Thank you all for being here today. It's so important to have your support in such uh, an important bill and legislation um, taking place in our state. Seeing the world's most endangered species under the big top forced to perform to audiences around the world was a sad reality in centuries past. But finally, the truth of the circuses has been exposed, and the public is now educated on the reality of how these animals are being treated thanks to many organizations working to end animal cruelty in circuses around the world. Tigers who naturally fear fire and are forced to jump through fire hoops in some circuses, trainer using, trainers using whips, tight collars, muzzles, electric prods, bull hooks, and other painful tools of the trade to force animals to perform is inhumane and it must end. Elephants being made to stand long hours on concrete floors leading to foot infections and arthritis. That's one of the leading causes of elephant deaths in the circuses. The future of these endangered and threatened species is in our hands. We must act now to put an end to the archaic cruelty once known as the circus, the saddest place on earth. Thank you very much. I'd like to thank everybody for their wonderful comments. I'd also like to acknowledge all the supporters here today as well as those who, who couldn't make it that will be a working advocate through this bill as it goes through the process. Special thanks to Daniela Monet, Holly Marie Combs, Pablo Azar, Jane Velez Mitchell, yeah. Kristen Bau, ba uh, Kristen Bay, sorry, Bauer. Bauer? <laughs> they forgot the R, sorry. <laughs> Ignacio Siricchio, Simone Reyes, Giovanna Mendoza Ayers, Marco Antonio Regil, Gianna Simone, Joaquin Phoenix. Also, thank you to my fellow San Diegans who uh, came, came here to L LA for this uh, event. Leslie Davies, uh, Aaron Carrasco Riley, Jim Kilby, Jolene Smith, thank you very much. We really appreciate everybody's support and thank you uh, very much for coming out today in this chilly, nice weather. Of course, we have already seen so much support for this legislation. Uh, since we introduced it Friday, we want to thank uh, everyone who has re replied. And of course, I'm, I'm grateful to this uh, very nice, beautiful coalition here today. I'd like to ask everyone to please contact your representatives and tell them to support AB 313, I mean, I'm, I'm sorry, SB 313, and to please help join us and circus cruelty once and for all here in California.